This video was brought to you by NCIX. Great technology, selection, and service. Hey guys, this is Dmitry with Hero Knucks and welcome back to another review. Now when it comes to gaming peripherals, it seems we're always bombarded with pointless features and things like 16 million color palettes and very often functionality is overlooked as the priority becomes to create the most flashy and gaming centric product. On the review table today we've got a gaming mouse from Genius, this is the Gila GX with a heavy asking price of $100, meaning there's a lot on the line for the GX, so let's dive right in. The mouse features an 8200 dpi laser sensor, I'm not sure why gaming mice are going this far as I personally never even go beyond 2000. Now what is important is 1000Hz refresh rate for minimal latency and we also have onboard memory to save your profiles. The mouse is symmetric in shape with thumb buttons only on one side but it could still work for left handed users by switching left and right click in the software. Ergonomically the mouse works well for either grip with rubberized angle support for your thumb and two fingers on the other side. The rubberized sides are slightly coarse, allowing for a better grip. We have a total of 10 buttons with your left and right click, the scroll wheel, two macro buttons on each side, DPI change with two more macros and your thumb buttons. The DPI switch is not very effective for in-game scenarios because you have to cycle through the six different DPI levels in order to come back to the original. And say you're playing Battlefield 4, get inside a tank, ramp up your DPI for quicker aim, but jump out and have to press the button a few more times to get back to your normal sensitivity. Now I was thinking we get this many macro buttons, so why don't I just set the DPI plus and minus to either of the dual buttons around, and turns out you can't. You only get a DPI switch option that doesn't let you lower your sensitivity and that's a big turn off especially for a gaming mouse, not exactly the pro gamer style. The mouse however does feature a weight adjustment system that I always appreciate with the total of 6 45 gram weights and a little compartment to store them. The mouse without any additional weights comes in at 197 grams so this flexibility is very convenient. Now when it comes to lighting and gaming, I do appreciate the flexibility to match my other peripherals and the Gila GX features a total of three adjustable color zones. We have these front eyes like LEDs that look really cool but you never actually get to see any of it. Then we have the GX logo at the top and the scroll wheel that you can all set to this pulsing mode, uh, so I think this looks really cool. But guys, don't be expecting miracles in terms of accurate color, there's a very distinguishable red hint on all the colors, so white looks pink, red is very deep and bright, that's the one I decide to go with, and green is slightly shifted to the blue, and so on. Now this obviously doesn't affect your in-game functionality or aim, uh, but advertising heavily on color adjustments and then delivering such poor color combination and variance between the three zones is very disappointing. Now moving on to the software, this isn't the best interface I've seen, but it does the job. We have all the regular button assignments, uh, macro recordings, all of the sensitivity adjustments and polling rate, and lastly the lighting options with that really funny looking color palette uh, that looks something out of paint. Uh, now because the mouse has onboard memory, all the profiles are saved onto the mouse, so if you switch computers this is certainly useful. Now with all that covered, how does the mouse perform in game? Now I've been using the mouse for over 3 weeks and have gotten really comfortable with the weight and the grip and I'm really happy with how the buttons feel, especially the macro buttons. They provide just the right amount of travel time and that tactile response when the button is pressed and I seriously could see this a popular MMO or RTS mouse. I initially completely ignored the two macro buttons on the right side but soon adjusted to using the middle finger to quickly access those buttons in game. Now I wasn't using the DPI switch at all because I needed the option to lower my DPI on the fly. So what I did was I set up three profiles at 800, 1200 and 2000 DPI so I can quickly switch between my profiles either going up or down so effectively acting as my DPI plus or minus. And after 3 weeks of use, my left click started acting up on me with double presses and getting slightly jammed at the corner where it meets the frame, effectively making me switch back to my trusty M60. 
And this brings me back to the notion of functionality over gaming features. As the GX Gila is a feature packed gaming mouse with weight adjustments, different lighting options, a whole load of macro buttons with excellent ergonomics. Now the issues with the left click to appear this soon in its use is very disappointing, especially for the $99 asking price. Now while I did manage to make the DPI to switch the way I wanted using profiles, the basic function of DPI plus or minus is unfortunately missing. Now all in all my experience has been very satisfactory until the three weeks in and the issues with my left click started to appear. Uh, but up to that point, I was really happy with tracking and the fit. Uh, it's a good thing we have that one year warranty. And well, that concludes our review of the Gila GX. Uh, thanks guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't for more similar content and we'll see you in the next one.